Talking about our problems is our greatest addiction. Break the habit, talk about your joys. Now everyone, I love to challenge and debunk, or at least challenge convention, modern society and the rules and the regulations and the conformities that I've been born into in this world, okay? I'm like a surgeon of falsehood. I'm a dissector of, of, of ideas and behavior and I'm an uncoverer of truth, a dispeller of lies. Um, I wrote, it's good to talk about your problems too, okay? The deeper truth is about balance. For example, a problem solved, shared is a problem halved. So you can't just say, just talk about your joys and never talk about your problems. That's an all or nothing, one or the other, 100% or, or 0% idea. That doesn't work out. That's not the way life is. Um, I wrote, but to stew in and to remain forever talking about your problems, and that's a different issue. That's getting stuck in negativity. Um, what you want to do is see the spiritual significance of your problems and hence the opportunity and the gift in your problems. They're no longer problems, they're opportunities for spiritual growth. Sure, on the physical level, they can be temporarily arduous, difficult, traumatic, horrible, painful, and you can hate them and resent them for a while. Um, so it's about a fine balance and knowing yourself. Know thyself, as Socrates said. Overall, though, I wrote, it's much nicer, much nicer to talk much more about what you like and what excites you. And what excites you is what's spiritually and physically propelling you forward into your new life, your next moment, the next stage of your life, the next creation and manifestation that's like wanting to come from you. That's follow your excitement, so important with integrity, not not about like committing adultery and uh, any little like physical primal or selfish acts. Now I'm talking about following your excitement, your true heart with integrity. Okay? And it's much nicer also to talk about what what you like and love and excites you and what you're interested in and what you're grateful for, etc etc etc. Now most of us don't think about the spiritual side of the problem. Hence, we miss the gift, we stew, we become maybe more of a victim and as a result this is where this photogram, this photograph has come from because this is about when you're really unbalanced in one side instead of the other side, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So I just want to say one other benefit of talking about your problems is like the whole idea, a problem shared is a problem halved. You, you get to remember the sad stuff, the hurtful stuff. You get to allow the pain and the energy and the emotions to rise and to leave you, leave your cellular memories, to leave you, to, to, to you allow yourself to heal like a very powerful healing method is of self-healing is to remember your past painful experiences. Remember the relationships, remember the, the losses, okay? Your big losses or hurts in life. Just go over them in your mind and shed tears. And that's what I've, I've done on the buses. And the idea is to be calm, to be conscious and to feel the emotion, let the emotion rise and let the energy and the emotion to release and to generally crying is the simplest way of letting it letting it go. So this can't happen if you're just trying to like put a band-aid over your feelings and just like you're feeling really bad and you want to cry and then you start talking about oh I love I love my holiday. I like this. You know, it doesn't work out that way. Life isn't about trying to live in one part of, of reality um, and this is what Abraham the non-physical channel beings also try and encourage us to do but I think they're just two in the non-physical and they're not with the three-dimensional physical world enough to realize what I'm saying in this video and um, it'd be good if they probably talked about this a little bit more in depth rather than just trying to like gloss over everything with a, with a positive attitude like a band-aid you might cover the, 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 the cut but you don't really help heal the cut and that's where 
um, being negative or venting or crying or being angry even, but it's very important to be conscious. You don't want to be destructive on yourself or other people. So that's where even like letting your anger flow, letting whatever emotion to flow needs to flow or wants to flow, letting it to flow and to letting it to escape and to release from your energy field. So it's pivotal and, and almightily important to do that. So um, so don't don't be too quick to judge or condemn yourself for being negative or being talking about problems or to share with a friend or family member or even to relive an old sad hurtful experience and to let out the pain because I promise you when you let out the pain you're going to be lighter in your energy field certain chakras will be healing more they'll be opening up more you're allowing in a space a door a vacuum for your new life to appear and a new better life will appear as a result of any of your healing so allow yourself to heal allow yourself to be fully human and to have loving acceptance and a tender loving acceptance and heart on yourself so that's all i want to say i hope you like this video thank you for your time and for watching thank you for your interest in self-healing and healing of humanity and, and you are a healer and if you've liked this video and you'd like to support me this video my message on my channel or my life and my loved ones um, please give us a like to support the channel and um, you can share and um, leave a comment subscribe favorite and um, get life coaching spiritual life coaching of body mind spirit or also also buy any herbs to supercharge and empower your life your mind and your body and your spirit from a herb shop below also so um, there's 20 percent discount for first time subscribers to my mailing list and other than that, I thank you again for your time and support and send you much love and gratitude and appreciation. See you again. Bye.